What's good, the warriors? We in there. Let's do this thing. Thank you for watching. We're back again. If you watch my first video where I talk about Xbox, PlayStation, and PCs and Wii U, this is the next part. Well, I still talk about the difference between PC gaming and video gaming, and I talk about exclusives, and I talk about what's going on in the industry and all that kind of stuff. So let's get into it. First of all, I wanted to address why specifically. Because I heard a lot of talk where people say, why don't they just do away with console gaming and just put everything out on the PC because consoles are weaker than their PC counterparts. So I thought, well people are saying this kind of stuff but they're not actually thinking about it. They're just thinking about things from their perspective because they've got a godlike PC so why should everyone else have a godlike PC? Like saying everyone else has got internet. I've got a 100 meg internet. Does that mean everyone else should have a 100 meg internet or can afford 100 meg internet? No. Do I think it's right for the standard to be a 100 megs or 50 megs? Absolutely not. I don't. Just because I have a high standard level um, that you should expect everyone else to. The reason that I would make the example between PCs and consoles is for one simple reason is this. With console gaming you have a standard. Everyone has a level playing field. This is the benchmark in which you are supposed to have your video games to a certain level. If the, all the people that made video games listened to what a lot of the PC master race and some people are saying that follow the PC master race are saying, then what would they do? They would start to make games exclusively for the PC. Where's the cutoff point? If you start making games exclusively for PCs, where's the cutoff point in terms of how powerful the games must be? Because every game has got a minimum requirement. So what is the minimum requirement? You tell me, because I don't know. Yeah. You tell me what the minimum requirement is. Yeah. Okay, you can say the minimum requirement for me, personally, I would say is i7 is a minimum requirement. What is it for you? An i12? AMD? Because I don't know, a G5? What is your main requirement? Those are CPUs used in Intel's or normal AMD laptop, notebooks or desktops. Everyone has got a different perspective or idea of what a standard is. Some people's standards may be something absolutely ridiculous in terms of the graphic card, in terms of the CPU, in terms of memory that should be standard. My standard, I would say, is a standard for memory is about maybe 8 gigs but maybe for somebody else they should say the standard should be maybe 32 gig memory that might be someone else's standard that will make all types of people that make video gaming developers start making games that are different specifications for different people's computers think about it so if there was no law there was no level playing field and they were just making games on the pc say bethesda they made Fallout 4. Then only the top elite people could play Fallout 4. Because they would make the, the level of the game so high. The minimum requirement would be so high. Based on what they programmed for the game. That anyone else below. I don't know. Using a, let's say Thunderbolt. They made it like a high level Thunderbolt. I12. 38 gig. Ridiculous terabyte graphic card. Minimum requirement. Who has got a PC that could run that? A couple hundred people or a couple thousand people in the world that do the benchmark tests on their PCs. Only those people. So well done for making such a godlike, powerful game. Well done spending hundreds of millions on a game for the super elite. Couple hundred that would buy that game. Well done. I hope you make your money back, which is absolutely impossible. That's the reason video games are, consoles are so essential. Because video game consoles create a level playing ground. They say this is the minimum requirement. Work within these boundaries. That's how games are made. And why console gaming is another essential reason why video gaming is so important on consoles. Whereas PC, there's no criteria. It would differentiate between everybody. Your PC is going to be exactly different than my one. My friend's PC is completely different to my one. Two other friends that I've got, their godlike PCs is totally different to each other. So the architecture is different. Very, very different. And then what about people on the Mac, Linux? What about all those type of people? But with a console, your Xbox console is the same as mine. Your PlayStation console is the same as mine. So then everybody is equal. We all have the equal opportunity to play the same game with the same graphics on the same level. Think about that. That's one thing I would 
ask people to think about where they're addressing the fact of why doesn't PC gaming just be the number one gaming platform? And yeah, PC is a gaming platform. So is the iPhone. So is a HTC. So is a Samsung phone. They're all gaming platforms. Are they designed for specifically for gaming? No, they're not. But they can run games. And that's what it is. They have multiple applications. Whereas a console, its only application is video gaming. So that's what I wanted to say about that. And thanks for watching.